Um, what's the rest? Do you have a formal process, and what's the rest of your ideation process look like? Yeah, so, you know, <clears throat> for, for us, there's a couple different ways in which we uh, call it source pain points. Mm -hmm. And we actually keep a tracker of all different pain points that we hear from, you know, perhaps boring, seemingly boring mm -hmm. ones like managing international payroll taxes, mm -hmm. which is one that our a director of people at Mongo certainly feels, mm -hmm. having multiple offices at Mongo. Mm -hmm. I, I, when I have my conversations with her, she'll say, I'll just ask you, what has been unnecessarily taking up a lot of your time? Mm -hmm. Wendy, what's been unnecessarily taking a lot of my time is actually managing inter international payroll taxes mm -hmm. and reconciling uh, different tax codes for different countries. Mm -hmm. I wish that there was this thing that did this. And yeah. I think, interesting. Okay. Yeah. We not do that sure. for states over here. Why can't we do yeah. it? Yeah. Not sure what the solution could look like, but let me, let's, let's, let's flag it. Yeah. And so we, first one, the first step is we keep a tracker of all of our pain points. Mm -hmm. We then have, we then organize our pain, our pain points, call it into. And the pain points come from everywhere. Right? They come from everywhere. They come from, they come to, uh, bottoms up yeah. or top, top, top down, bottoms up. Yeah. And the, bo the top down approach really is. Uh, is there a, a new way uh, of solving for a pain point uh, of which there's already an existing company that's doing it, mm -hmm. but quite honestly, isn't spending time thinking about the customer in the way that they should. Mm -hmm. So in, in the top-down approach, MongoDB, SAP would be mm -hmm. to MongoDB, yeah. right? In the case of Zola, it is the not to Zola, right? right? Zola is a reimagined version of the knot that is mobile first, mobile mm. friendly, and focused around ex uh, it's more small niche brands and mm. experiences. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mongo is, you know, NoSQL uh, open source database. Mm -hmm. uh, Nomad Health is another example of this, which is there are many privately owned search firms that help mm -hmm. hospitals find travel nurses, locum nurses. Mm. And they end up costing hospitals a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And they're you know, family owned, privately owned, and they're worth over X billion dollars in revenue every year. Mm -hmm. And we think, gosh, I can't believe there's that many companies helping hospitals find nurses. Mm -hmm. There must be a way to make it cheaper. There must be a way to have it be more digitally forward. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's sort of the, the, the top down approach right. is looking across the sphere at different companies who've been around for quite some time, probably went public before 2008, mm -hmm. and are just rather stale. Mm -hmm. A company like Amazon is adding so much value year over year. Yeah. Uh, and you can see in terms of their revenue growth over time. Yeah. So we're really, what we're really looking for is companies that have shown that there's a, already a large market, yeah. but where growth is relatively, it's slower. Right. And the company itself has become too, too bureaucratic for mm -hmm. new innovation. Right. That's top down. Bottoms up is then, so say we find. And it doesn't matter what the sector is. No, it so doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, These are all sort of people problems in some way. They're business mm -hmm. problems. They're that, business problems. They're businesses. Yeah. 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 There are so many. <clears throat> it's, it, it, it would be hard to come up with a category defining new idea. Yeah. There are just so many companies that are out right. there. Right. If that's why we, we always focus center on these two questions. Yeah. How can a process be more efficient? And how can it be cheaper? 